We've got Pro Football Weekly snap judgments from Week 8. And Eric, the big game, our game of the week, was Steelers and Patriots. Pittsburgh with a huge win in the AFC playoff race. But really, the question is, which team do we learn more about? Well, I think we learned the Steelers haven't died yet. You know, and Mike Tomlin always said this is going to be a work in progress for them. They're still learning about themselves. And I think they came up with the kind of signature victory they really need to hang their hat on. Great defense today. Took Wes Welker out of the game. Really got physical with those wide receivers. A lot fewer zone blitzes than we usually see from them. Outstanding. I mean, moved the ball on offense, kept Tom Brady off of it. Yeah, I think we give so much credit always to Bill Belichick and his game planning. I thought the Steelers came out with a pretty good plan, really threw the Patriots off. Yeah. Tim Tebow was the focus so much last week, how he came on late. This week, pretty much 60 minutes of bad football as opposed to last week, just 55. But really, the win for Detroit, people aren't talking about that. It was much needed. And we should give Tebow a little bit of credit here in the sense that he had no chance a lot of those plays. Took a lot of sacks, but uh, a lot of pressure allowed. But that's that great defensive line for the Lions. You know, they had to come up and make a big play. Uh, still some things to figure out in the run defense. You know, they gave up some plays I think they'd like to have back. But offensively, just an outstanding performance and really got the balance they kind of wanted on offense, too. Yeah, and I don't think Tebow's really answering questions for either side, whether yeah. he has a future or not. Just the guys around him not making plays as well. Tell me if you've heard this one before. Cam Newton plays very well. And the Panthers lose a close game, this time against a fellow rookie, Christian Potter. Yeah, they're a young team and they're an inexperienced team, and right now they're an undisciplined team. And, and Ron Rivera will write this ship. I believe that's the kind of coach he is. He does, he's done it before in San Diego and other places. I just think that right now, this is the kind of game they're losing. You know, they're making too many mistakes, too many penalties. There was the 50-50 holding call there, and then a missed field goal. 31 yarder that could have sent it to overtime and, and extended the fireworks. But Potter played very well in this Vikings team managed around those secondary injuries somehow. Yeah, Leslie Frazier took a lot of criticism early yeah. on, but this Vikings team starting to play a little bit better. We'll see if they can do it moving forward. Those are our snap judgments for week eight. For the best coverage of the NFL, check us out at profootballweekly.com.